right, welcome, welcome guys, back to another video. So this week we're going to do another Shopify store review, this time in the pet niche. So if you guys are really serious about increasing the conversions on your Shopify store, then definitely keep watching till the end of this video. I'm going to give you some really good actionable tips that you can implement straight away to get more sales, okay? Uh, it's going to be really useful for anyone in the pet niche, um, but it's going to be useful for anyone in general because most of these tips you can apply to any store, okay? So the store in question this week is Endure Pet. Um, so we're only going to go through the product page, most important page for conversions, of course, and um, the branding and everything else. Uh, you know, you're going to have to put some time and effort into establishing that. But uh, in terms of actually capturing the sales from the product page, obviously the magic happens here. So let's talk about the first impressions. I actually like it. and. This reminds me of iHerb a little bit. So if we go over to iHerb here, you can see they've kind of got a similar theme going on, which I think is great. You know, if you have a successful store that you want to emulate uh, or look to for inspiration, do it. You know, there's a reason why these stores are successful. Um, so let's say you're in the footwear niche, like head over to Nike, you know, um, or if you're in the apparel, like a uh, trekking niche, head over to um, North Face or Himalaya and uh, draw a little bit of inspiration from them, see what they're doing right, and try and incorporate it into your own store. So first impressions are good. I like the logo. It looks like a little dog face, and uh, this green element over here looks like a little heart. And the color scheme is what I always recommend. It's sticking to two colors. It's a nice uh, mild green and an orange, okay? So the branding's really strong. Um, <clears throat> let's look at the Add to Cart here. So I would actually change the color of this personally to stand out a bit more because this label on the bottle actually looks a bit like a button and the color is exactly the same. So what I would do is I would change this color to, I would use either green or orange, but a more vibrant shade or tone just so it can stand out a bit more. And then I would probably make use of this space. So I'll, uh, a headline here or move that the card button down here so it stands out and pops out a bit more from the page, okay? Now, <clears throat> moving on, let's go to the product description, which is obviously what's going to convince people to buy. So first thing I'm noticing is that there is no headline here, and you really need a headline to catch people's attention and reel them in and give them a reason to keep reading. So I can't see that here. Um, now, when it comes to pet owners, you really need to trigger emotion in them, okay? Now, people will go to any length for their pets. You know, I know myself, I've got a dog and, uh, you know, the amount of money that you'll pay to solve a problem that your pet has or that you have with your pet is, you know, there's no there's no limit to it, essentially. So this description should be using a really good use of headlines. Um, so what they have done well here is a bullet point system uh, describing the benefits, okay? So this is great for both cats and dogs, promotes healthy dog and cat immune system, load of natural ingredients. And then we've got a little product description here. So this is quite good as well, you know, but what I did notice is that it says right here, tons of nutrients are found in dog food, but more often than not, foods don't contain all of the ingredients your pet needs to be healthy. So personally, if I was writing this description, I would, play more on the fact that it's pretty common knowledge that a lot of dog food brands are actually contain a lot of filler content um, and a lot of filler substances, substances, I mean, rather that are necessarily good for your dog. So it would be really cool to highlight that in your description. And when you highlight a problem like that, you can then position yourself as the solution to that problem. Okay. So something along the lines of highlighting how lacking in nutrients most dog foods are and that the best or the optimal solution for your pet or your cat is to use a product like this so it's providing value to them by informing them about the state of you know dog food products and then yeah positioning yourself as a solution so that's a change i would make right there uh, and i would also try and find a way to incorporate some images into this and gifs or some video. Now, when I'm talking about video, I'm a big fan of video testimonials. So 
reaching out to a customer that has already purchased your product and just asking them to say a few words about it. And you can just stick that right in there and add it into your description. You know, video always converts far better than text. So another thing you could do is you could create, you could compress or compile all this uh, description and all the benefits into a video as well. So anyone that's too lazy to read it can just click on the video and it's a much more easily kind of digested format for people to understand. Some people are very visual, you know, that's the way they learn and understand the world. So that would be my other recommendation for this. Otherwise, you know, this product description isn't bad, but it definitely needs a lot of work to be more enticing. And the biggest thing I would say is to really uh, work on triggering the emotions within the pet owner to purchase the product, okay? Now, let's see, moving on here, obviously, we have the kind of recommended daily dosage, which is really important because, you know, animals come in all shapes and sizes and different weights. So this is a really good guideline about how much you should really be uh, supplementing your pet with. And then we have the analysis of the actual ingredients here. So again, this is great. You know, we've got all the ingredients laid out. It's transparent and you can research these yourself. But to make this even better would be to take the trouble to expand on these ingredients yourself as a store owner, okay? So, I mean, my tacky mushroom sounds great, but I don't know what it's gonna do for my pet. So to see this area expanded uh, with clear benefits of that particular ingredient laid out would definitely help with conversions. And to show you a little bit of what I mean, I reviewed this store two weeks ago, I believe. It's a natural skincare store and they've done a really fantastic job of doing so. So the ingredients are all here, freshwater pearls, grass-fed colostrum. And if you don't know what they are, it's clearly laid out. And it's very apparent what the benefits are because they tell you. And um, it's, it's all about providing as much information as you can to the customer because you're prepping them and you're helping them make the purchase decision, okay? So that is another change I would make to this. Um, I think that's necessary, definitely. And even some images of uh, green tea and shiitake mushroom to go along with it, just like they've used here. It kind of puts more emphasis on the whole natural, organic element of the product that they're really trying to push here, I'm assuming, you know. So to go down and continue a little bit further, here we have a little kind of statement about their holistic approach to uh, pet supplements, which is really good. And then we have got customer reviews. Now, there's only two reviews here, which, you know, it would be ideal to have more, but two is better than nothing. And a review like this, which is really in-depth, really long and really comprehensive, and that looks really, um, well, it looks real. It doesn't look like it's falsified. That's really powerful. And you, do, you don't really need to have a lot of reviews on your website, guys. If you've got a product that you're trying to push, Five to six really well-written reviews are going to help with your conversions massively, you know. So it's better to have some uh, fewer well-written five-star reviews or four-star reviews rather than having 100 reviews of questionable quality that don't actually tell you about the product, the customer's experience with the product, okay. So all these things are prepping the customer to make the right decision. And as we know, guys, people look to other people 90% of the time before they purchase another product. And people will always pay more for a product that has reviews rather than pay less for a product that doesn't have reviews. So always keep that in mind, guys. And that's pretty much it. Now, yeah, the most of the changes that I would make to this fall are in this uh, category here of the product description. So, Again, I really like the branding. I think it's really strong, just to recap. But I would definitely make some changes. And if you find yourself in a similar position to these guys and you're hoping to increase conversions, try doing this. Try changing your call to action, making it stand out more, making it pop more. Try and use really good enticing headlines that you know, trigger emotion in the customers because everyone wants their pets to be happy and healthy. So use them kind of statements in your headlines, you know, and, um, you know, the optimal supplement for a healthy, happy pet, you know, a happy dog, happy life, whatever. Um, 
you know, do a bit of brainstorming and think up with some good catchy headlines and take it from there. Uh, put a little bit more emphasis on the benefits. Include some video content. A video testimonial would be a really good idea. So if you have uh, customers already, simply just send them an email and say, look, um, it'd be really great if you could help us out with a video testimonial. And if you want, you can offer them an incentive, like a 10% off coupon if they uh, help you out with that. So that's extremely powerful for conversions. And then I would expand on this section. Uh, I would highlight the benefits of each particular ingredient. And then I would try and get some more reviews in here as well. So if you guys are using Luke's reviews, it's what I use for my store. It's really good. It lets you, it lets customer post images as well, but it also has a automated email service. So whenever someone purchases a product, after you can you can set it up for to schedule for any time. But mine schedules for 30 days after a product is purchased. It'll send them an email to remind them to leave a review, and then when they leave the review, it'll give them a 10% discount code to use on my store for next time. So it, when things are automated, you don't really have any excuse not to use it. So that is all for today's video. If you guys are interested in reading a more in-depth review of this, you can click on the link in the description and read the article. Or if you're already on the article and you're watching the video instead, feel free to ignore it. Um, once again, guys, hope to see you next week. Keep plugging away. Keep pushing. When it comes to increasing conversions for your store, it's a matter of just always tweaking, constantly testing, gathering new data, and making changes as you go along. You know, this is a game that the learning curve never ends. You know, it's it's constantly changing and weaving and moving, and you just gotta keep rolling with it, and eventually you will find success, guys. So if you're interested in creating pages like this, or pages much, much better than this, that include, uh, you know, image-rich descriptions, videos, uh, <clears throat> you know, beautiful design elements and review widgets, click the link in the description and check out PageFly. You guys can get it for 14 days free trial. And if you don't like it, don't worry about it. But I guarantee you, you build a beautiful page and the conversions will come. You'll make your money back in a matter of days. All right, guys. Have a good one.